for the past number of days there's been an unfortunate uh, considerable controversy over my decision to attend the funeral of my great friend Bobby Story. And I'm conscious that in the middle of all the politicking that there are a number of families that are grieving. There are a number of families that have lost loved ones throughout this pandemic. And I've been listening very carefully to what they've all had to say or what many people have had to say and I hear them. I hear the fact that uh, throughout the pandemic at a point in time families were denied the right to have that family support of their friends uh, in terms of their funeral, their normal wake, how they normally would grieve. So I'm very conscious um, of all of that. I'm also very conscious of the fact that over the course of the past number of days that they, those families would have um, felt even more hurt and I'm sorry for that. I would never set out to hurt any family or to compound their grief at such a sad um, time. In terms of my attendance at the funeral, I'm confident I can stand over uh, the fact that um, I worked within the, the guidelines, that I worked within the regulations in terms of attending a requiem mass which was allowed and also to walk in a funeral cortege of up to um, 30 people. I also think it's unfortunate that um, the executive is divided on this issue and that there is a controversy around our politics. Um, I'm here because I believe in making the Assembly and Executive work. I'm here because I spent three years trying to have our politics restored. I'm committed to that effort. Uh, I believe all parties are committed to that effort and I believe that's what we need to get back to doing to be able to continue to lead our way through the COVID-19 crisis and then obviously to deliver on the new decade, new approach commitments which were made. I will never apologise for attending the funeral of my friend. Um, and secondly, I would say this, what I wanted to address today, I wanted to get below the politicking and I wanted to speak directly to families that were hurt. Anybody that's had their hurt compounded, I wanted to say sorry to those people and I think that's important. Let's distance ourselves away from the politics and go back to what is at the heart of this. Some families are upset and I want to recognise that and acknowledge that. And in terms of Roselawn, I think the Council have made it very clear that everything was done according to guidelines so people should stop trying to stir the pot. Families are grieving. The Story family are no different than anybody else. They're entitled to their space to grieve and I hope that that's now going to be afforded to them.